Hello ladies and gentlemen, Squee913 here, and welcome back to another custom battle. Uh, this one was done by Rebel at my request. Uh, I was trying to find uh, strategies for fighting trolls, if we needed siege engines to take them on, or if uh, regular archers and men would be good enough. And this is a little fight he put together for us. This is uh, Gondor versus Mordor. Uh, as you can see, he has uh, several Gondor uh, captains, which are spearmen. They're able to form spear walls, very good for defense. Uh, he has a line of them here. Of course, he has uh, Ithilian rangers with spikes put in front of them uh, in the front. This is very good defense. Uh, now I know against cav cavalry, the uh, spikes will destroy uh, horses. And I found that out much to my dismay, <laughs> even my own horses, if not managed properly. And he has, of course, a couple of uh, fountain guardsmen back here, along with dismounted swan knights. And then he has, on the wings, he has uh, just regular cavalry. Um, he's also got a couple units of uh, regular cavalry here. No, no mounted wing knights, it would appear. And this is, of course, done on very hard. Now let's uh, let's go take a look at uh, what Mordor's got. Uh, as you can see, they have, uh, of course, orc archers, uh, orc spearmen, and obviously they have several uh, squadrons of trolls, also catapult trolls which are uh, an interesting unit because they're siege engines, however, even if you attack the siege engines, you've got to deal with the trolls, which are not fun. He's got, uh... What are these? Oh, these are ring wraiths, basically. Oh, good job. <laughs> Those are going to be fun to fight. Um, no battle trolls, I see. Just regular trolls, but still. And of course, no more ring wraiths. Um, yes, I am talking a bit quiet, but, uh, it's because there's other people here I'd rather not disturb at the moment. So, uh, obviously Gondor is going to take to the defensive, try and sit behind their spikes. However, he is sending his, uh, cavalry out. Probably trying to, uh, get around them early. He's only sending them out on the right side. Maybe he's going to try and hide them in the forest? Or is he just looping around? Nah, it looks like he's just going to keep on going. Um, now you do notice, ooh, that he has no siege engines whatsoever. Just arrows. Oh wow, that catapult did some damage. Alright, now the horses. He's taking out the uh, ring waste. He's trying to charge from high ground, which is good. And uh, now he's fighting both ring lights? Yes, it looks like it. No. No, here's the other one of ring wraiths. So he... And here's the trolls. They charge through the spikes, seemingly as if it wasn't much of a problem. Uh, they got into his archers before he could pull them back. And uh, those... Those trolls are tearing into the unit over here, too. Sending the archers running, of course. But uh, how are they doing against the spearmen? Oh, uh, it seems pretty steady. No, even looks like they, they have no trouble winning this fight. So, even though the trolls look like they're doing a good bit of damage, um, it looks like the fight's fairly even. And of course now he's marching the uh, dismounted swan knights to uh, give them more support. And of course uh, Mordor's trying to send the infantry in behind the trolls. A very smart move on Mordor's part. Try and uh, distract and dismay everyone with the trolls and then send the infantry in. Let's see how the cavalry is doing over here. Um, a lot of dead. A lot of dead, uh, hard to tell who exactly. Um, there's still several of the enemy horse left, and there's still 
several of uh, Rebel's force left. Now Rebel's trying to get those catapults, which is a smart thing because those catapults were tearing his infantry apart. However, he still has to contest with the other enemy cavalry. So, but that's okay. As long as he uh, breaks them is what he really needs or gets them away from the catapults. Now, it looks like his, his horses mm, are pretty much done for. They're broken and routing. Uh, but he did manage to get a couple catapults out of the way. Not the best use of cavalry, but at least they weren't completely ineffective. Now, how's the main fight going back here? Of course, he has all his archers backed up. And uh, he's just surrounded these trolls. And it's broken down into a general melee. What's this over here, though? It looks like he's marched his uh, fountain guards and his uh, cavalry that was still waiting here to go fight the uh, the enemy ringwraiths. So we have a little flank battle going on here, but here's the main contest contest right here. Uh, these orcs or these trolls are hanging around, doing some damage. Looks like they are not that easy to defeat. But on the other hand. They're also not elephants. I mean, they're not butchering everyone like those elephants were, so... This is not good. So, there's another broken unit. Looks like Rebel's having some problems here. This isn't uh, this isn't an easily won fight. And he's marching his archers back. He's marching everyone back, actually. Now, they're not broken. He's actually just marching them back, retreating. My guess is trying to get back to the waterfront. Or at least far enough away that he can reestablish his line. It's an interesting move. I think it was rather smart on Rebel's part to back up, try and regroup, try and reform his lines. Uh, and this gives him the opportunity to do so and then take on the rest of these trolls and the infantry. But see, now he's formed up again. He's, he's uh, got his composure back, so to speak. And he's ready for round two. He's trying to he's trying to match these uh bring these fountain guards in line so that he has an actual battle line. Those trolls are mm, kind of worrisome and kind of not worrisome because they take so long to die, but they're not the force of destruction I was afraid they were going to be. Those catapults seem to be more of, of a worry than the trolls themselves. I'm sure that's a exaggeration, but. And then we have, uh... Nope, well that didn't take long. <laughs> One charge and they're running. Well, that works for you. Very low morale. Oh, he's still got some, uh, horses over here. Doing some damage. Keeping the archers busy. And now actually they're fighting trolls. Alright, so... Even this large group of horses taking on, what, uh, two trolls is still a pain in the butt. Well, two trolls and then eleven trolls over here. Oh, these are all the catapult trolls. See, now that he's marching them away, he's not, they're not broken, he's just retreating them. Which is smart, because he was not winning that fight. Alright, so no one's, uh... No one's really come over here to contest them except for whew, those catapults. Only half the enemy force remains. Nasty. All right. So he's chasing them now. All right. Well, I guess it makes sense. He doesn't want them to regroup. Might as well keep them running. Those catapults, though. Whew. Oh, 
Alright, so now what's this is coming in? This is just orc archers. Okay, now he's retreating. So he does want to keep his line. It's just uh If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Speed this up just a little bit for sake of video length. Alright. Now that one orc will troll charge and he sent his unit, they'll take care of it pretty quickly, I'm sure. Alright. But man, that troll survives for a while. Is it still alive? <laughs> there they go. And now he's leading his uh or letting his archers lay into the Mordor's archers. Oh, now the trolls are coming. So, the the trolls that were controlling the catapults for whatever reason have left them. Either they ran out or maybe the uh, horses destroyed all the catapults. For whatever reason, they're now... The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Our men have slain the enemy general. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. So, these trolls are a nuisance, for sure. Uh, especially since, even if they run out of their catapults, they're still a pain in the butt. Normally, a siege engine units, if they don't have their siege engine, they're really easy to take out, but that's obviously not the case here. Uh, these trolls are, are tough customers. <laughs> to say it mildly. <laughs> But once again, like I said, nothing compared to those elephants. What do we got going on here? More spearmen. The battle's pretty much won at this point. Rebel's still got his line formed. He still has his archers. He's still well in control of the battle, but uh, the enemy is just kind of breaking and running. <laughs> Gotta be careful when charging through the spikes. It's fine if you're charging this way, but just don't charge them back the other way. Alright, now he's bringing his army up to try and drive them off the field. Trying to uh, just finish them off, so to speak. Put the nail in the coffin's lid. He has a bunch of horse sitting here. I'm assuming he should send them to attack someone. Or not. Perhaps he forgot about them. At this point, it's not really that important. The battle's already over. The only thing that's really even a threat anymore is the uh, catapults. Which uh, he should be dealing with momentarily. As such. <laughs> now he's just converging on them. Take them out, and then that's pretty much all she wrote. Man, even with all his forces concentrated on those trolls, they take a while to go down. That is for sure. There he goes. We are victorious. Our soldiers have fought and died well today. All right. Average victory. So as you can see, that uh, Rebel did have some problems. Even though he did win, it wasn't a clear victory. Um, he started off with uh, 1,600 men, had about 900 left, lost about 720, no, sorry, lost about 900 men, has about 700 left. Um, now the interesting thing is that he far outnumbered Mordor. Now that you don't see very often, and I didn't think about that because of the trolls. He outnumbered Mordor by at least 700 people. That's quite a bit. Um, man, but still, he did win. So, good job there. So basically what we learned from this is that trolls are a pain in the butt, are something to be looked after, but definitely not a horrible monster that can't be defeated. Alright? Alright, folks. Well, see you next time.